guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Superman Unchained Superman Armor. I am pretty excited because I think this is definitely one of the cooler looking ones uh, that McFarlane's, you know, one of the cooler looking figures that McFarlane's made. They're all really great looking, except with the exception of the animated stuff. But, um, it's not for me. But, you get the uh, awesome packaging here. Uh, and on the side, you can see Superman Unchained Armor. On the back, you can see the artwork of the armor there. That looks really cool. I think that's Jim Lee, too, so that's, that's pretty nice, isn't it? It doesn't say. It just says where it's from. Anyways, there is all the other figures in this wave. I wonder what happened to the Harley Quinn. Let me know, because I actually was getting pretty excited to get that, but then they never released it, so... I'm not sure what happened there, so let me know, because I really don't know. Anyways... There's the other side. You can see the Superman DC Multiverse McFarlane toys. Anyways, that's on top, nothing on the bottom. I guarantee you. Let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. All right, we got the Superman Unchained armor out of the packaging, and I've got to say I like this figure a lot. Although I do have one problem. Oh, it's not a problem. But like a little uh, cutesy issue of the suit, and it's not McFarlane's fault by any means. It's actually the Jim Lee. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it looks too much like a Power Ranger kind of thing. You know, I think it's a little goofy, but maybe that's the point. But, um, anyways. So, you get the card here, which I think looks amazing. I, I can't tell if that's Jim Lee, but I'm pretty sure. Because I know, I think, oh, this Scott Snyder, who did the Unchained series. But, uh, anyways. It was either Scott Snyder or Jeff Johns. I'm pretty sure it was Scott Snyder, but... Uh, yeah, you can see the, the uh, read-up and everything, you can see the source and the statistics and stuff. So that was pretty cool, I'm going to put it in my money clip. Now, unfortunately, um, I, I'm going to have to cover the Batman, well, unless I, you know, I, I like that Batman one slightly better, so. I'm going to pop that out. And slide these in without damaging it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, nice and thick. Nice and secure. You get the Batman, Hellbat, and you get classic Superman there. Nice. So, yeah, keep them coming, McFarlane, although I might need a new money clip soon. But still, uh, anyways, uh, he does come with the DC base, so that's pretty cool. I'm just, you know, I'm stocking up on those, because most of these can stand up on their own. Although this and the uh, Hellbat armor have a bit of a problem, you know, with being back-heavy and top-heavy a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Um... But, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just take a closer look at the head. And, uh, yeah, get this light in. Yeah, man, look at that. So, if you hear noise in the background, my neighbors are having a little bit of a party because today is uh, Mother's Day. But, uh, yeah, looks good. Nice silver in there. Nice metallic blue. Love the blue on that, on that head. Let's get the yellow eyes in there. See, I don't see this as a Superman armor. I see this as, like... Maybe helping Superman, you know, on the side. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you can see the awesome S Superman logo there. Looks great. Nice blue, and you can see the Under Armour a little bit. I love this red. It really pops out. And then the wings look really cool, too. It looks kind of like, you know, jet. You know, jet wings. But, yeah, I do wish that the, the silver bit was on this side. Because... It would make more sense because having a flat side going in the way he flies is not very, uh, <laughs> it's not very good. I, I know a little bit about aviation and I know that ain't good. But, uh, yeah, nice metallic blue though. Awesome sculpt. You can see the legs there. It looks very good. Nice sculpt there. Just awesome all around. This is a great piece to look at. I mean, all of them are. You know, I say that in every McFarlane multiverse review, but it is true. Anyways, the head will look up slightly, down quite a bit. Look side to side. And then you can get some head pivoting in there. The arms will move out like so. You can't get the arms to do a full 360, but there is some stuff in the way, so that's as far up it'll go. And then that, that's how, as far back it'll go. Bicep swivel in there. It is a bit, you know, stiff. 
Looks like there's butterfly joints in there. Is there butterfly joints in there? I don't think so. But uh, single jet, the single jointed elbows goes that far in, so like almost a 90 degree. Swivel at the hand and uh, hinge is on that stupid ball joint. The uh, ab crunch, both ab crunches, goes that far forward. And it goes that far back, so it goes, goes much more back than forwards. And then the legs will kick out like so. It does go out a little bit, but yeah, it will go that far out. Is there a rotation in there? Nope. Double joint knees. And the feet will hinge. And I mean, they are on that ball joint again, but then he has toe articulation. And the Hellbat armor suit had toe articulation as well, and I forgot to mention that because it was poking me. But uh, yeah, great looking figure. You also get rotation in there as well. Sorry, I thought I should mention that. But uh, yeah, I love this piece. So I can see why this is. Oh, also, you can get the wings to hinge. And swivel a little bit. You gotta work with the ball joint, but yeah, you can get the gist. It just pops in there. So, yeah, I think it was a great piece to look at, and uh, I understand why. This is a bit harder to find than most of them. I uh, actually I think I got this on like Walmart a few months ago. But, uh, you know, I'm seeing some people get those. Um, new Batman Arkham games figures, and I'm wicked excited to get those because I think those look excellent. Uh, anyways, here is the Hellbat armor next to the Unchained armor. Yeah, I mean, you can just see the full wingspan there. These two look great together. One's very menacing and one's very, you know, pure. That's exactly how Batman and Superman are, so that's awesome. Up, oh, man, he knocked Superman over. Good job, Batman. Fuck you. Oh, shit. I think I'm dropping him out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so here is the Superman armor. Next to one more figure. The stand. Here is the Superman. McFarlane Toys Superman. Now, I was moving his leg around, and it completely popped off. Luckily, I was able to pop it back on, but it's not the same. <laughs> it hasn't been the same since. So I may have to get myself and my my hands on another Superman figure, which should be easy enough because he's starting to show up pretty much everywhere. So that's a good thing. But hopefully, you know what? I'm not gonna get him until he goes on clearance. When he goes on clearance, I'll definitely scoop him up again. But yeah, you you can never have too many Superman or Batman figures. Let's be real. But uh, yeah, awesome figure here. I love this guy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this review. This is my last McFarlane toys. Uh, multiverse figure that I own. Um, the next one, hopefully. Oh wait, no, I have one more. Never mind. I, uh, take that back. I have the uh, one, one of the Wonder Woman figures. So subscribe to see that. Um, I'm not sure what the next few videos are gonna be. So just subscribe to see those. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.